Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The arrival of spring kicks off festival season throughout Kentucky, and among the first to happen is Hillbilly Days in downtown Pikeville, which has been an annual event since 1977. It started 42 years ago with a little parade um, to help support the kids um, in Lexington, and it's grown into this huge festival and to bring in 150,000 people and 270 vendors every year to help support that. It's, it's impressive. Jordan Gibson, president and CEO of the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, the organization that is in charge of the festival, says that being associated with Hillbilly Days is definitely something to be proud of. You know, we've had folks here uh, volunteering for years, uh, folks on staff that have been helping out for years, and people come back because they're proud of what we do. You know, we're helping support the Shriners. You know, it's good for the chamber, but it's also, it's all about the Shriners. You know. Gibson says most of the popular vendors are returning and the carnival in the Riverfield will open Wednesday night. But one new event this year is the Great Lakes Timber Show, which will be located on Division Street. Eastern Kentucky and the Brakes area uh, have had a lot of uh, long tradition of timber and logging. And so this show actually brings in all the old skills that uh, you know, loggers used to uh, do. So we've got log rolling and axe throwing, and you know, they didn't have chainsaws back in the day, but they'll do some chainsaw performances. And so I think it's great, a little bit for our uh, heritage in this area, and just a great performance overall. The Timber Show is provided by the Chamber of Commerce and will offer three free performances on Friday at 11, 3, and 6. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.